Hello everybody, this is Brother Ernest with LiveEventPrinting.com with a special announcement. Epson is refurbishing 50 more units for live event printing to get these out into the market so that you can increase the productivity of your printing business and change your production in DTF from slow desktop printers to very fast printers. You know, in June of 2020, I set out on a vision to become a DTF supplier. And although my partnerships didn't seem to work out in that way, they only wanted to focus on small desktop printers, but that was not my vision. I wanted to bring you large format printers, and today, this is a reality. I hope to bring you the best 24-inch printers that you can purchase for our market industry. Our startup package is $13,000 for a printer, the dryer, and all the accessories. A great point to start at. Buddy, how's it going, man? So we're, we're here printing with the LEP 8 and 10 channel printers. And we just printed this Obey that I drew into the iPad. It seems to be an image that's burning up the market. And we're gonna print it on the LEP 6000. And I just wanted to show it. And you know, Kat, if you wanna, she's right back here hiding. And so um, she put a dust cover up on her printer. And you know, we might think to ourselves, it's really, so film is different. Everywhere you go, film is really different. And here's, here's Kat, take it easy, man. He was, he's, he's here, uh, sorry. He's, uh, he's here and take it easy, man. He's here hearing my war stories about, you know, um, take it easy about passing these rock of Gibraltar. So, you know, and being right where you're at. So, um, Let's see, what do we have? A front cover, the door's open, that's all. So it'll, it'll go back to life. So Kat, like in, in all honesty, any, any service issues or anything like that? You know, you wanna blast me, trash me, let me hear it. Or, you know, hear, hear the opposite or, you know, anything no. I could have done different. Not quite happy, came, checked it out. We were having just a little bit of a grazing problems ended up raising the platinum gap and that's an amazing thing they did we'll talk about it keep going sorry but yeah no really happy with the service and always coming out here like as soon as called like next day except this last week but you know everybody could see me so she she was getting head strikes there's a film somewhere that i saw where you had head strikes on it. I, I i saw it earlier check this out I got this one floating around. all right everybody's like you're feeling better yeah so she was getting head strikes, right? And sometimes you can, and this is when the print head's going across, you know, and there's some either some buildup or the film is, is picking up. In the drier times, what I think is happening, right? The print heads are piezoelectric print heads. So they're getting electrical charges that go through the print head. And that's what makes a print head fail is it starts losing an electrical charge to continue to pass all of the um, ink through all the channels. And that's why we tell people when they get a printer, like when you get a printer, um, you know, uh, the first thing you want to do is buy a second print head or a third print head. And I tell people all the time, the Chinese printers are super fast, right? And they only print at a maximum resolution of 720 by 720, where CAT can print at 2880 by 2880 now, um, which is cool. I didn't even know it was a feature in until I, I watched a video. <laughs> So the printers, I had, I, did, I had time to just sit around. The printers are, are highly intelligent, and um, we just need to drop some paper in, but to get around that, we can move this up. So the printers are highly intelligent. She was getting scratching because as the weather gets, uh, there's more snow, the air gets dry, and there's less humidity in the air, you know, and they have a humidifier that's blowing right out, right out the back here. And as the humidity changes the paper starts to raise up toward the print head like it's it's um statically charged he's like yeah man so what's happening is the paper's lifting and your fan is going and so what they did is they raised their platinum gap and um very simple solution and now she's loading some paper and so i saw an image on etsy and nobody had a good copy and because i had time to sit around i went and you know uh drew it and on my iPad because Adobe Photoshop just came out with the iPad. Drop this down. And so if you notice, um, and especially Ashley, if you're watching, this is what I think is happening. Your film is lifting up because of the dry air. But when you drop this sheet down, 
the fan is off. And when you're printing, the fan, the suction will turn off because there's, it doesn't recognize your film. And that's why changing film is, is always a pain in the butt. And then what we're gonna do is, yeah, just bring it over. Yeah, and the dust cover is just a great idea. Um, and so now the fan's running, or the vacuum's running. The vacuum is the last thing that will ever go out on a printer. And Epson says that the, the vacuum needs to be replaced on the printer by 125,000 prints. Dude, I don't even know anybody that's got that high, like at all. Um, so these printers don't need to be converted, right? Um, when you get them from me, they're already, you know, the print head is adjusted and there's there's none of these roller wheel removals. These are just good units to have, but elastic, they're really hard to get anymore. And then we'll just hit the pause in a moment. Yeah, that's a good place to start, right? Yeah, it looks like it covers where it was dripping onto the back before. Um, any one of the Epson printers can print at 2880 by 1440. So there's a lot of people that are buying pr transfers from people that have Chinese printers, but they can only print at 17, 720. And that's what makes the print so heavy, almost like a plastisol print, is because the lower your resolution, you're, you know, those Chinese printers are laying down a lot of ink, where these can print at high resolutions, even at 1440. All the, all the, eight, all the printers can that are Epson, Epson and they can just print nice transfers that feel soft. They're beautiful. The hand feel is, like, yeah. there's almost like nothing there. It's Right, right, Pe really people. So we're just looking over here and we're gonna come over here and redo our obey. That's what we're working on, how fun. But you know, I, you, ha you have to understand that those printers can print super, super fast. You can get a lot of colors, but this is, I think like these printers are for the, the person that doesn't want to go the Chinese printer route, the 220 volts, managing multiple print heads, which, you know, I mean, if I was in a job, I wouldn't want to manage a bunch of print heads. I would want a printer that just runs that, that would do the job that it needs to do because then you're talking, I need to be paid, what, 30, 40? Like if you had to run a multiple print head for, for a shop, your salary here would be like, dude, I, I need a raise. I'd be salaried and I would live here. Yeah, right, right. That's the truth, man. So, um, you know, whatever. It makes sense. Right now, I'm just kind of buzzed out. And I thought we were going to have to do a major, you know, overhaul on something. So we're going to go here and just... I'll let you know if it ever happens again. Oh, yeah. Well, those are the best thing to do. You guys are right here. So you would just get your printer in your car or truck and move it over and then, or, um, yeah, right. So we all wanted to see something. And before I do this, Kat, can you throw, because I, I'm sorry, dude, I am scatterbrained as the world right now. Can you throw the printer into wiper maintenance mode? Yeah. And then cool. So like, why can't she do this? Of course you can. Um, this is going to move the print head over because a lot of people are asking me earnest, you know, from all over the world, how do we remove a print head from these printers? Well, first, you know, um, you, you need a long, thin screwdriver. Yeah, I brought my own um, in my bag. So, um, we're going to remove a print head and, and try to help a lot of you. You know, because there's, there's some things that, that I worry about with this is that, you know, the pressure has to be just right. You remove your print head and you can put one back in and all kinds of shit can go wrong. You know, I mean, it just really can. I'm just going to tell you where to take the screws off because the rest is just lifting off the dampers and taking off the, uh, the cables, right? So, you know, when you're buying transfers, whoever you're buying from, ask the person, you know, hey, do you print it 1440 by 1440? And if they say yes, just make sure they have an American Epson printer. 
right? Because everybody out there with Epson printers from L1800s, P600s and all that are printing at far greater capacity than the Chinese printers and with a very light fabric-y fill. Um, so on that note, everybody take it easy. I'm just gonna hang out and bail. And I think they're up and working. Raise the platen gap, solved a head strike problem. Um, for those of you out there with these printers, you, you learn from each other. You really do, man. Um, send Kat some coffee over here at Susie Art. She just saved you a world of problems. Um, Susie Art in Braintree, or just buy some transfers from her and have her print them at 1440 by 1440 or higher. We got you. Right? We got you. So long, man.